Hey guys, it's been a while. If you want to see what I've been up to, stick around. Hey guys, it's Bib with Stitches and Seams. Thanks for coming back and sorry about the long absence. Um, as some of you will have known, um, if you follow me on Instagram, <coughs> excuse me, um, I live where Hurricane Harvey affected, um, and I don't know, I guess Harvey put me off my stride. Um, I'll insert a couple of pictures. And this is literally like right around the corner from my house, but um, so after the rain stopped and then the, finally the flooding started, you know, recede, the flood water started receding, <clears throat> excuse me, um, and we could get out of town because we were trapped um, in town on both sides, um, and we couldn't get out. So once we could finally get out of town, um, just driving around and seeing people's um, entire homes, like literally the contents, the entire contents of their home on the curb for the trash. It just killed me and I just, I don't know, I just couldn't sew, I couldn't, my heart hurt so bad and I just couldn't create, I felt like, I felt like it would be wrong, I don't know, I don't know what I felt, but anyway, um, as are Texans, proud and strong, and they are bouncing back. Um, but, you know, our community has really pulled together. People are helping each other. People are letting people stay with them. People are letting people use their RVs or whatever. Um, and so it's just, it's kind of cool to see. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. We had a family stay with us uh, for a little while and then they found another place that they could go to where they would be more comfortable because we kind of have a small place. We don't have a whole lot of room. So um, they were able to go to some place where they would be more comfortable while their home is being rebuilt. And they are, they should be back in their home by New Year's um, or by the new year, excuse me. Um, so that's good. There's a lot. So anyway, enough about the sad bits. Um, I have managed to get my sojo back and um, I've been sewing and doing and making and knitting. Um, so let's get started with that part. Um, first I just want to show you one of my entries for the Cozy Cardi Challenge from the um, gorgeous Amanda from uh, I Sew A Lot on YouTube and she's on Instagram at Amanda I Sew A Lot. I'll put all the stuff in the thingy my bobber. Um, and the Stitch Sisters, Rachel and Nikki. So this is my Helen's Closet Blackwood cardigan. And now, yes, I know, I live in Texas, it doesn't get cold, but I actually wore this the other day because it was kind of cool. Um, so, and I love, I didn't shorten the sleeves because this, I like this. I have Raynaud's, so my hands get cold, and so if I'm knitting or sewing or whatever, I can just let it kind of <laughs> come over my hands and it, it will help me keep my hands warm. I'll pop pictures in of um, the other ones that I've made. I have one. And I have one more to make hopefully before the challenge in, is over, which is the 31st of October, by the way. Let's see. Um, so man pants. Um, let's see. I did not get any of the shirts done that I said I was gonna get done. Harvey was happening and it just didn't happen. Um, I hopefully I don't shake the table here. I did get Jack his, um, Jetland pants sewn and this is one pair and he's got 
Trippy Pockets. He's a blue fella. Trippy on the inside. So, yeah. Um, I hate flat felt seams. Just gonna say it. Throwing it out there. Um, they suck. Big time. However, faux flat faux flat felled seams. Wow, that's a tongue twister. Are the bomb. I don't know if people still say that anymore, but I did, and there you have it. They were so much easier <clears throat> to do, and I did them. I don't have the pair. I think they're in the wash. I did them on the second pair that I did, and I'll pop a picture in. Uh, Um, I should probably like move over eh? so I can do that. Anyway, I'll pop a picture in of those and the flat, faux flat felt seams were so much easier. They were, they came out so much nicer. I just, I don't know what it is, but I cannot get, as you can see, and luckily they're just work pants, so he doesn't really care, but it just didn't, it didn't go under. And I did like I said I was going to do. I took my time. I marked all my cut lines. I pressed. I didn't cut in to make notches or anything like that. So I made sure that there was nothing that would interfere or there would be no reason why I couldn't get it under there. But I'll be darned if I didn't get it under there. So on the next pair, I did the faux flat felt and they came out so much better and I really like them a lot. So um, he's asked for a couple more pair and a couple more pair. So I have those and I'll be making those for him. Um, I'll show you the fabric that he picked out um, shortly. Let's see what else. Um, I made the Patterns for Pirates brunch blouse and I'll put a photo in of that. Just made the straight V. I didn't do the Henley placket, but I have another fabric that I really want to try that out in. <clears throat> Excuse me. I don't know what's in my throat. Anyway, um, so I'll put a picture in of that, and that is a, the fabric is a cotton lawn that I got from Girl Charlie in last year's um, after Christmas sale or something like that, and um, I am so glad that I bought that fabric. When I first got it, I was like, I don't know about this. It's a little crazy, but it's got orange in it, and I love orange. It's got navies in it, so. Um, but yeah, I think it made up really well. That cotton lawn is just like butter. I love it. Um, so yeah, I'll put a picture in of that. I'm trying to think of all the things that I've made, and I'm like, um, I switched my gears and I um, decided to make some bags um, <clears throat> I was knitting uh, quite a bit while I was kind of in my sewing slump so I made a bag because you know you have a bag to put your knitting in so I made a bag and this is um, dandelion daydream by Moda and it's just a bag. It's just big enough. It'd be big enough for a sweater. Um, I actually have a hat and a couple other things going on in here just because if I had project bags for every project that I have half started, half finished, I would be buried in bags. Um, this one I made up. These are, this is remnants out of the um, bin at Joanne. And in it is my hitchhiker shawl. And I'm sorry, I cannot pronounce the girl's name, the designer's name, um, but I'm not done yet. I don't know if you can see the edge there. But I'm getting there. Um, it's, it's once you memorize the pattern, which is really easy to do, um, <clears throat> then it's kind of mindless and you just do 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 go on. So that was that one. I made uh, another bag and I gave it to um, a new friend um, and she really liked it. 
uh, the pictures on my Instagram. I'll try to pop one in here just so you can see it. See it. Um, then Jack, my husband. I don't know if I've told you that. I'm sewing pants for him, so obviously he belongs to me in some form or fashion. Um, the dearest husband of mine, Jack, was like, you need to make a purse. You need to make some more bags. I like them. You need to do it. So there we are. Um, this is my Rose handbag. And <laughs> my, my, my little bit right here is wonky. I used a different type of tongue opening thingamabob and did not calculate the distance properly. And so I just had to fudge my way through the rest of it. But this is, I can't remember the name of the fabric. I love it. I've had it for probably two years now and it's just gorgeous. And I really like it. There's the inside. All the junk in my purse. So anyway, <clears throat> there's that. Let's see what else did I get. Um, I picked up because I was watching Sean from Kiddish Behavior. I was watching her M six six nine six so long, and I was like, oh, I should sew that dress. And then I was like, No, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to resist. And then lo and behold, Natita ran out and got the pattern. And somehow, with mind control waves or something, she forced me to go out and get the pattern too. Just kidding. So I picked up a copy of M6696. Sue, also from So So Slew. Slow So Sue. Yeah, that's, ugh, that's a tongue twister. But anyway, she made this straight skirt. Oh my gosh, she looks fantastic in it. I really, really, I mean, Sue, if you're watching that silhouette on you, seriously. Um, so yeah, I, I think I want to do this one. Um, and it has the different cups and I need that. So there is that one. Um, also during the craziness, the stitch sisters were having their 1k giveaway and I won Nikki's side of the prizes, which was the Tilly and the Buttons or the blouse. I know that you guys have seen this. I somehow missed this. I don't know how I missed this, but I did. Um, so this with this freaking gorgeous, and I think Shona had this on Sew's Faction, like way back when she first opened a, the online shop. I don't know, I'm not sure where Nikki got it from, but it reminds me of a fabric that Shona had. And, ugh, right? I mean, just, just, just look, just take a moment. Just soak that up. Look at that. I seriously can't wait. I have no idea um, if I'm gonna make the Orla. And there's a lot of fabric here, so I could probably get two things out of it. But, because I'm, I'm just right in uh, Tilly's range. Actually, I'm sorry, I'm just outside of it. That's, <laughs> I wish I was in her range. Anyway, I'm just outside of her range, so that's not, that's not too big of a deal. <clears throat> that's doable, but I might make do that, or I might do a brunch blouse, which would also be pretty, or my Rhapsody that I love so much. Wouldn't that be pretty with long, like longer sleeve? Yeah. Okay, so there's that. Thank you, Nikki. Um, you were so great about the post because we weren't getting mail for a long time. So um, I sent her a message and I was like, um, could you hold on to that for me? Because we don't, we're not getting mail. So it took a while for the mail to get through after the storm and um, Nikki was sweet enough to uh, do that for me. It's just so understanding. So I appreciate that. Nikki thinks, and I love it. I really, really love it. Uh, let's see here. This, I'll just go ahead and show you <clears throat> Jack's picks for his <laughs> next two Jutland pants. Um, so 
I, I honestly can't believe he picked this. My sweet, conservative, manly man picked this, but I really like it, and I think it'll look good, and I think it'll be a great pair of work pants. There's actually, um, on the blog, it's a simil similar color. It's like a greeny color, and I love them. I think they're fantastic, and I had shown Jack, and I was like, I think these are awesome, and he was like, yeah, I like those. So <clears throat> we got enough here We're gonna, for two pair. And then we got this uh, to coordinate as his the waistband, the pockets, and on the um, cargo pocket flap. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to doing that. I actually, it's so funny because if you have followed me for any length of time, you know that I was complete chicken over sewing these pants. And now, I don't know, maybe it's because I've sewn so many of them. Um, but I, I really actually enjoy it. It's more of a lengthy process excuse me but I absolutely thoroughly enjoy it I, don't know, I just love making it and when he puts them on and he's so happy I'm like yeah good job <laughs> um, next <clears throat> my I put this on um, Instagram because um, Emily Hallman uh, designs on Instagram. If if you've seen her blog, follow her Instagram, you'll know that this woman is like the epitome of class. I, I just, I really love her style um, and I, I enjoy probably like seriously like 96% of the things that she makes and wears, which is not a normal thing for me because I'm really picky. But anyway, she made this and it was a Vogue dress that she used this fabric in and it's uh, a rayon crepe. I had never heard of that. But you know orange, corally orange is my thing, I love it. So I had to get this fabric. This is from Fashion Fabrics Club. Um, and if you haven't gone there, you should. They have sales all the time, you're missing out. Um, it's worth it. So that's that one and I, I'm not sure. I think actually I might make the Cheyenne tunic or the Jennifer from a thousand sewing hours, a thousand hours. I can't remember. I'm sorry, Jennifer. My home girl. That's who she is. Cause we we talk and I enjoy it and I like watching her little stories. Um, she suggested an itch to stitch. Was it the Mila, Mia, something like that? Anyway, I'll put it in. Um, so it might be that or the Cheyenne tunic, which she also just sewed in a plaid and it looks fantastic. I love it. Um, so I might steal something that I bought for Jack and use that, but which would be this. Um, I got this from Style Maker Fabrics and <sighs> right, I love it. So I might, I don't know, but Jack knows this is his, knows that this is his, so I might not be able to do that. <laughs> so yeah, I got that from Style Maker Fabrics for the McCall's 6044 men's button down. And then, I'm sorry, I'm trying to speed up because I see that I'm like gonna hit 20 minutes and I really don't wanna do that. Um, this was a, like a waffle looking knit that I picked up at Walmart and it was a dollar a yard. And I figured, you know what? Cardigans, crappy, um, what's the word? Sleep pajamas or whatever, because I have one child who even though we live in Texas and it's hotter than hell here all the time, she loves to be bundled up in as many layers as possible so she would sleep with this with flannel sheets and a comforter and all that so maybe and i just made uh lorelei my youngest i made her the patterns for pirates summer kimono out of this and it looks great on her the color looks really good so that's this one and then this was the other fabric that i picked up from fashion fabrics fashion fabrics club bleh. and i picked this up with the intent of making myself a set of silky jammies um i don't know if you'll be able to that's the outside let me see if i can get the inside for you without completely making this a mess there all the lights shine on it but it is just such a pretty color and i have never had silky pajamas so i thought you know what you're 42 girl get you some silky pajamas so i did well 
I got the fabric. Now I got to make them. Um, so that is all I can think of in regard to acquisitions and um, things I've been up to. If I find some other things that I've made, I'll just put pictures in at the end. Um, yeah, I think that's it. I really appreciate you guys' patience with me since I've been gone since August. Uh, so I feel better and I'm ready to get back on the bandwagon. So I just really do, I really extend my appreciation to all of you who have had such great patience with me. And I also want to say hello to all the new subscribers. I can't believe that I don't, I think I'm like 330 or something like that. I just never thought that more than five people would want to listen to me outside of my own family. <laughs> so, um, soon we're going to have some more videos, do some reviews on the baby locks, um, and maybe a so long. So stay tuned, keep your eyes peeled. Thanks for watching. Thanks for coming back. Thanks for subscribing. And thank you so much, truly, for all the well wishes and the prayers that you all sent through, uh, Instagram and the videos. So thanks very much. Take care, guys. Bye.